Hello, in today's session, we'll be talking about integrating SAP with IBM Curator Security Intelligence Platform. For this, you need a third-party product. That's because typical SIEM solutions, such as IBM Curator, focus on OS and network logs, and therefore, they do not have an in-depth understanding of SAP internals. So the first question you might have, why don't we send the raw SAP security logs directly to QRadar? Well, because SIEM solutions are not specialized in SAP security events like Enterprise Threat Monitor is. Many logs obtained from SAP require further parsing and correlation before they give out usable information. With ETM, we're already covering more than 300 use cases. One of the most important aspects of this is that ETM solves the noise challenges by leveraging machine learning and adaptive noise reduction. Now, this is very important because this means less work. Also, <clears throat> SIEM solutions typically use EPS, now that stands for events per second, for pricing calculations. ETM reduces that by 99.9%. That means less costs. Top companies rely on SAP, so it's important to protect these systems. Most critical business data, such as customer data, payroll information, suppliers, bidding, critical financial information, it's all stored in SAP. And hackers see, hackers are constantly discovering new methods of intrusion, especially insiders. They're a big threat to large organizations. So when we look at the SAP systems, we are able to detect if somebody steals the password of a service user, like let's say ALE Remote or WF Batch, and uses this account to download customer master data. Or let's say an external consultant misuses his rights and views sensitive employee salary information, which can happen. Or another one. A very common way of attacking SAP systems is using this debug replace function for bypassing authorization checks and for accessing sensitive information. Enterprise Threat Monitor is a product for integrating SAP with SIEM solutions. And basically, ETM allows for identifying SAP-specific attacks in real time. And see, by detecting these attacks, you can analyze threats quickly and you can neutralize them before they become a major security incident and cause you damage. So how does the IBM Curator integration work? Well, ETM already has over 300 high quality threat detection cases for IBM Curator. ETM runs on a Windows machine, it can be virtual or physical, and it connects to the SAP systems to get the security related info in real time. After Enterprise Threat Monitor analyzes this information, it processes it with Adaptive Noise Reduction Engine. This engine uses machine learning and human training to eliminate false positives. Afterwards, it sends the pre-correlated information to the IBM Curator, which automatically shows high quality offenses. So what are some sample use cases? A very common use case is the misuse of SAP debugging for bypassing transaction authorizations. Or another one, uh, there's a user account which is not typically used, but suddenly you look and discover it is used for creating new users or assigning critical rules to other users. Let me think, another case is downloading customer or payroll data to a PC, that's a big one. Or users sharing SAP accounts which is relevant to compliance. So speaking of compliance, there are also checks like whether a production system is open to changes, which is an important topic related to change management, or whether security level critical information, like such as an operating system command, gets executed on the SAP gateway. This is very serious stuff and you need to be informed when it happens. So the way SAP QRadar integration works is to first download the Enterprise Threat Monitor and then use its wizards for connecting your SAP system to ETM. 
It has a wizard to add the curator system, and then you can create a test message to see that that connectivity works. There's a step-by-step -step guideline for mapping the QRADAR QIDs and doing some customization and for adding the SAP relevant information to QRADAR. It shouldn't take too long. And after that, all the information happening in SAP related to security will be sent to QRADAR in real time. And then you can view it using your existing QRADAR system. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation. If you recently installed QRADAR, you can get the Enterprise Threat Monitor from tryetm.com to connect QRADAR with SAP and to learn more.